We don't need to breed better humans. We need to maturate better humans. It really is just programming, right? It's understanding, having some sort of realization of the circumstance you're in. Most of us, I would argue, are maturated in confusion. Horrible mixed messages. Most of them absolutely nonsensical. We're raised in a morality of God or a good and evil kind of hell and heavenish kind of nonsense that doesn't get to the core, doesn't sensibly recognize what is valuable about a human being. Is the fact that they can be harmed. I mean, just something that simple, a simple statement like that. You're not raised with. There's no mass media images. There's no cartoons. There's no nothing that just makes this simple statement. Okay, what makes you valuable is the fact that you can feel pain, that you can be hurt, and being hurt isn't fun. It's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. And just as it's no good for you to be hurt, it's no good for somebody else to be hurt. It's no good for anything to be hurt. But they can't say that at the same time they're running TV commercials about what kind of sauce you should put on your dead cow or your chicken or whatever else you're consuming. The sensitive creature you've exploited and destroyed for your gratification. So, I mean, obviously those messages wouldn't be compatible. So they don't exist because the more important message is the getting what we want. Doing it ethically isn't the more important question. So we're not raised on that. And certainly you couldn't be raised on it by people who had acquired that sensibility in the first place because the act of procreation is so bold and so aggressive that the people likely to commit it aren't going to be very sensitive. And that's just the truth. They're not going to be apprehensive and worried about implications. They're reckless sorts and arrogant sorts and defiant sorts. They're not going to be slowed down by some notion of a risk or danger or imposition, an important concept. The point is, though, it's for the person of high character, the person of high wisdom and understanding, is going to have to overcome their maturation, their parents. They're going to have to overcome the liabilities of their parents and their society, the noise and the nonsense they will attempt to infect them with, the virus of bullshit they will try to corrupt their logic with. Tragically, the idea of good can only exist if there's a bad to correct or prevent. It's just the way the universe is made. It doesn't intrinsically need. And so you have to contrive the need. You have to build the need. And building need is nonsensical.